What's up guys? So today we got the XP Turbo. We took the old heat shield off there and uh, we got to take out the four bolts for the radius rods so that we can send in the Super ATV hitch receiver and uh, yeah, we're just having fun with it right now. So uh, we'll get back to it soon here, hey? What do you think? Okay guys, so we jacked up the back and uh, we just removed these as you could see in the last clip. Uh, you removed this plate, just the four bolts for your radius rods and uh, yeah, you want to have her, have her jacked up because it will be easier to finish up and plus you get a little bit of more clearance coming over the wheel well. So uh, now Kate's going to show you the box that you get with the Super ATV hitch receiver. Okay, so opening it up. This was wrapped up, but we unwrapped it. You get uh, two nylock nuts, your bolts, and then spacers. That's nice. I like how you, they give you an extra nut because they yeah, totally yeah. fucked that so part up. And then uh, here's your main. Fuck yeah, that's gonna look sweet. Receiver there. I just put the red one on my RS one. So yeah. There's Cade's hitch receiver. Red radius rods, red trailing arms, red shocks. Red hitch receiver and red clevis. What a deal. Absolutely gorgeous. We got her in the car. Now we're gonna put one on the other car. In the buggy. In the buggy car. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna time lapse putting this bitch in there. I think we're just gonna, uh, what do you, no, send. you use new bolts. We're gonna send, yeah. No, there's only two, so you have to use two old ones. Okay, so you actually use two of the old ones. And what is it, the bottom two you changed so that the actual hitch receiver gets a little bit of like shim to it, right? Um, something like that. Yeah, something like that. That's yeah, we'll, I'll, right I'll explain it after. Oh. Okay, so this is the uh, how you're supposed to do it. So you go with the spacer on the bottom one, you put the new bolt, then the hitch receiver, then the spacer, then your radius rod, and then the nut on the back. These are your spacers, bolts, and uh, nut, and then they give you an extra nut there. Perfect. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so we got her all uh, loosened up. It's best if you get a buddy uh, and lift it up all the way so your wheels just drop a bit so, you can so that you can give her some play like that. Because you're, you're going to have to either pull the bottom to get the bottom one on or push the top to move it in and out. To get your bolts aligned and through the hole on the frame. And then you just put your nut on loosely and then you tighten them all up and torque them up. And then we're going to put the heat shield back on. You don't actually have to take the heat shield off. We just did it because uh, it was tight. Give us a hell of a lot more room up here. Because it hangs down to there. <laughs> yeah. Makes it kind of a pain in the ass. So yeah, we're pretty much ready to tie it up, tighten it up, and then drop this thing back down and we're done. Alrighty guys, so we have finished up the install, put the exhaust shield back on, and yeah, it's actually a pretty easy install, but make sure you have two people. You he did his on his own. Yeah, it took Don't do that. two hours, took us like not even a half hour. Not even. So you, Quick. Torque, you torque all these to 40 foot pounds? 40 foot pounds, all four. We over torqued just by it, just like maybe 50. We didn't go Yeah, we far. here. Yeah. But yeah, so you get this cute little pin with it. Like, and uh, it says, it's Super ATV way up under there, but it's okay because you can't see that it says Super ATV, so it's good. How does that good? Super well, like, ATV is a hell of a brand. Maybe you can stun on all your friends and be like, yeah, it's Super ATV. Yeah, I spent I big money. <laughs> big money. No, these were actually on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale by the time you're watching this video. Cop one of these MFs. Fuck yeah. Revco. Revco, if you're How in Canada. 120 bucks, 130 bucks. Yeah. In this, yeah. Good price. That's, that's Canadian. They're probably like 50. That's like. $5 Canadian. No, because that was Canadian. Or $5 US. Yeah. My bad. Okay. So we actually got this uh, minty little uh, custom made, custom made, machined aluminum uh, shackle receiver. 
which just fucking nicely slides the fuck up in there. And pins like so. And I know the clevis is fucking red, and my trailing arms are not red, but uh, that's all they had was red clevises, so we've got a red clevis on here. But yeah, look at that. Nice tight fit, too. Fucking right. See, that's what you need so that when you need a tow, you can get out. But anyway, thank you for checking out the video. If you're going to check one of these out, uh, yeah, get a buddy, you know, put the spacers on the backside because that without them, the hitch would be like facing the ground. Like it would be quite a bit further down. So yeah, not bad. Pretty easy install, but two people or struggle on your own. Yeah. Thanks for watching.